lot of there AD on one team. Absolutely right there. That's a heavy AD. Rough. Having, you're not having a thresh to sit in a brush. Oh, Ooh. Snoy. Level two to that top lane. Dane's right there. Level three is on to that level two. The damage is big. He goes up for the repel. It's going to be Snoy trying to get out of this one. Dundee. Oh, he gets himself wow. off. The ignite wears off, and they get out alive. The top lane were confident in their ability to execute that tower dive. We'll have to see, still going very hard onto Chi Ji Imp. Getting that damage down. The Ignite's there, he's gonna dive in. This is definitely gonna be a kill on him. No! He flashes the wall right before the auto attack and get out of the hands. For himself in that lane, 32 to 28, so not too shabby there. Kaigu looking to clean up some wars oh. and they get Mata on that one. Very well played there. Looks like Mata has forced the flash out the same way that Imp did earlier. They turn this one back around onto TG. Three to one in the kills now. It's gonna be Kaigu and Exo still somewhat pursuing. Is up, but I feel it's good. Oh, Mo, Kaigu from the backside here. Dandy finding oh, him out. out. It's gonna be a 3v1. Just on the other side is TG and Exo. TG puts himself in the middle. He does have his ultimate, but he doesn't decide to throw it in the box until he's farther out of the fight there. Vineski going down on that one pretty hard, but constant pressure towards that mid and top lane. I have an argument about that. See what Double had to say. Double had to exactly. Double to do that as well. Snoy back against Looper. Oh, 8 to 10 bottom. in that lane. Oh man, Fiddle coming out. Exo goes down from the extended Ignite, extended Ignite, but the running Ignite as well. Yep, they ping him out. He does go for the Iceborne. He gets that at 15 minutes while double dipping into a few extra builds. He flashes into the wall. The fear connects just after. Unfortunate for you, man. He's pretty much telling the team we're not fully fighting. I'm going in to be aggressive, but here comes the stand. United Dandy Boar, very low on mana. He's going to be staying on the outside. Mata goes in for the ultimate. He is focused down very fast. They're looking at you, may now. Eyes onto him. He takes the lantern home. The safety is there, and the Ignite will not take him out. Oh, the shock. Blast just on the tail side there. Looks like they will finish off Snoy. Matter went down. Two champions. Not the same on the shock blast, but Dandy, Dandy on the hook here. This may be what Ozone wanted, though. They know they can instantly pick people out, even if it's under the turret. It really isn't there. Looper taking a bit too much damage, but that was his job as the tank. And you can see Dade on the backside singly, single handedly zoning these guys out till they finally take him down. He was holding there. an extremely dangerous turret that should have been able to get turned around, but Ozone did not get a clean dive. They're going in for round two, though. And that's not the amount of damage you can take if somebody is diving your turret. They do go one for one again, but that's going to be a three-kill shot. Group defense cannot stop the damage from going on the turret. They throw down the locket of the Iron Solari, and it looks like they get the, fa the flash flay. Fiddlestick's going to walk out of this one, silencing everybody down the line. Mata going down there, and it looks like they may try to turn on this one. Looper goes for the flash. He gets locked up there. TG going to be going down onto this one. They keep trading kills back and forth. So far, Mineski on top. You made very low. Can he make it back into the fight to help his team? It's going to be the shots on the Imp. Looper coming in with the ultimate. Tries to get Exo, so the damage can't be done. Kiting very well. Blade of the Rookie keeping Exo alive in the fight. And holy crap, Mineski comes up huge. They know how well Absolutely. they've been out farming. Mata gets hooked again, though, and this is a 5v5 breaking out. Gotta remember, Mata went down first in the last fight, too. Maneski keeps it going. Their foot is on the pedal, and the pedal's to the ground. Kaigu in the front of the fight here, tries to get the wither down. He is going down. They are trying to put a body block for Exo right now. He's not being focused, but they do finally turn their eyes on. It's been a two-for-one so far. Maneski's looking to have three standing right now. They may not stop. They will not stop, and they keep going on to Exo. Looper and TG back. Back and forth, and it looks like they'll be able to close off TG in just a few seconds. Yeah, Ace comes back in. Match the distance. It looks like they're just going to be out of range. He goes to the minion. It's the cocoon there. Oh, my God. They get the fear on the Exo. That spells death. And Ozone now having control of Mineski's base. And they're just going to keep chasing. They have so much move. It's now a 16,000 goal lead. And Ozone, they had a bit of, yep. they had a few hiccups in the Infinity edge. On to Jace. Surprise. There's the party from Mata. He wants to bring it home right now for the team. Will they be able to finish this one? One for one on the fight now is that Yume going down. They turn it back on to Dandy here. Snowy very big. They're getting that percent damage out of the ultimate to the Bass Brothers of Nasus and Renekton. But can they continuously go into the fight? It's just too much damage. Imp is too big and so is the rest of the team as they make their final push into the base. Well, it's on to him. Expect that hammer to be dropped. Knocked him back, and it looks like they get up a nice pad on the confidence booster as they move through the rest of the group. Absolutely. Ozone coming into this one.